Honorable Member for Starehe. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for giving me this opportunity to contribute on this motion on the amendment of the Constitution for the NGCDF fund. Uh, first and foremost, where I come from in Nairobi, in Nairobi County, is the right constituency. Most of my populace dwell in the slums, and these people have benefited from CDF through bursaries all over, t all, all over their lives. Saying that you want to scrap off CDF as of now, will be detrimental to the gains that have been made by CDF in my constituency. Children from the slums of Mukuru Kayaba, children from the slums of Marigueni, and children from the slums of Watanyayo, among many other slums, have gone to school courtesy of CDF. And the way CDF fund hangs in the balance, it is causing, it is, it, we are in a chaotic situation in my constituency because people are despairing by day, asking me about when is the bursary going to come back? Because as we look into the first term, which is going to happen from January next year, parents in those slums are in a panic mode. Mr. Speaker, sir, I stand to support this motion for the constitutionalization of the CDF so that once and for all, the CDF fund can be contained in the constitution and we'll, know, we'll never have to debate about CDF again. Among the gains made by the CDF fund in my constituency, we've had so many people talk of insecurity in these slum, slum areas, but the NGCDF fund has been able to help bolster the security systems by constructing modern police stations, by being able to support the security system in our constituency in ways that we have been able to curb crime in these slum areas. The, use of CDF in my constituency also has helped so many children who are, who, who are not school going and who cannot afford school fees. They've been able to pay for their secondary school fees. And in my opinion, Mr. Speaker, sir, in my thinking, we would be having a discussion about bolstering the fund, not about scrapping the fund off, because of the functions of the CDF have been very effective in our constituencies. For example, we have the these tertiary courses that are offered by the NGCDF, these soft skills that have been offered, you find like in my constituency, we've been able to take some people to these small courses like the driving courses, tailoring courses, Hello? maybe baking courses, and other soft skills that these people have been able to, to gain through the CDF fund. So in my opinion, Mr. Speaker, sir, we'll be thinking of incorporating more activities for the NGCDF and expanding the fund to be, able, to be able to help us address the issue of unemployment. If we are able, like my friend John Kerry has put up a motion seeking the NGCDF fund, the NGCDF fund to cater for artists and artisans, to be able to equip our artists and artisans with skills, technology tools, and machinery and capital. I think that would be a step in the right direction in that these graduates of the NGCDF bursaries may be able to be empowered to gain skills, be empowered to make, to make a living out of what they learned. So, Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise to, to support the motion on the constitutionalization of the National Government Constitutional Development Fund, and I support the motion. Thank you so much.